Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. And this video will be about batch writes, which are kind of a set of write operations in Firestore. So you can see I extended the layout from the last video with a new button, do batch write. And if a batch write is nothing different than several write operations, why would you use a batch write then if you could just do all these operations one after another? And the answer to that is that batch writes always make sure that all of its writes will be executed or none. So if there is an error in one of the write operations of a batch write, then the other operations won't be executed. So whenever you want to change some documents in your database with changes that should only be applied if none of these changes fail, then you should use batch writes. So make sure to get this XML code from my GitHub repository. You can find the link in this video's description as usual. After that, jump into Android Studio and here I want to create a new function. So what I want to do in this video is to create a function that makes use of a batched write to change a person's first and last name. And it should only change those both names if none of these operations actually fail. So for that I want to create a private function here, change name, and that function will take three parameters. The first is the person ID, which is a string. So that will be the ID of our person document. So if we take a look in our Firestore database, that is just one of these IDs here. I will just show you how to make that for a particular ID, which I will just hard code here in this video, just for simplicity. But if you have watched my previous videos, then you should actually know how you can find out such an ID having the field values of a particular person. So in Android Studio, we also want to add two other parameters. The first is the new first name, which is a string, and the new last name, which is also a string. And then we can launch our coroutine as usual. So coroutine scope dispatches.io.launch and go into that launch block. And here we want to open a try and catch block. So in case that batch write fails somehow, we want to catch an exception. And here in the catch block, we can actually copy the code from the last video. For example, this code here from the delete person function, paste it in and change the text of the toast to e.message. And in our try block, we want to start our batch write. And to do that, we want to call firebase.firestore.run batch. You can see that is a Lambda function and that gives us a badge as a parameter so we should name that as badge and if we click onto that badge here and press ctrl plus q then you can see that is actually of type write badge and we can now use that write badge to apply several write operations to this badge so write operations in firestore could be creating new documents changing field values or deleting whole documents or dele deleting field values and to actually change the first and last name of a particular person, we first need a reference to the document of that person. So we should create that first, well, person reference and set that to our person collection reference dot document. And here we simply pass our person ID. So that will be the document reference of the person whose first and last name we want to change here. And after that, when we now have that person reference, we can use our badge and call that update on that. And here you can see we need to pass three parameters. The first will be the document reference we want to change. That will be our person reference that we created above. Then we need to specify the field that we want to change. And the first field is our first name. And now the value we want to change it to, which will be our new first name. And you probably also saw that if you write a badge dot, then you not only have those three update functions here, you also have a delete function and a set function. So theoretically, you could also delete the age field, for example, for that particular person, or you could create a completely new person and set its values with that batch write. But for this example, I will keep it simple and simply have a second update operation here to update the last name too. So we write update. We want to update our person reference again this time the last name field and we want to update it with the value of our new last name. And actually there's also a function for your badge to commit your changes so to actually apply them to your Firestore database but we don't need that. 
if this block here finishes our batch block, then this will automatically be committed. So you don't need to write batch.commit. So after that, because that is a task that run batch function, we can call dot await after that because we're inside of a coroutine. And that is everything we need to do for our change name function. So our Firebase will just go into that run batch function here and it will execute all those write functions that we declare here. You can, as I said, of course, do much more write operations here and it will only execute all of them if all of them succeed. If there is a single line that fails, then it won't apply the other ones to your database. So to actually test that, we can scroll up and add an on-click listener to our batch write button right below that one button batch write dot set on click listener and here we simply want to call our change name function i already copied the id from my firestore database i paste it here so the person i want to change then we can choose the first name that we want to update which i will choose elon here and as a last name i will choose musk and if we now run our app and take a look at our firebase console see if it is working You can see that is the person that I want to change. I want to update here. And if I click on do batch write, then we change the name to Elon Musk here. And if you are asking yourself what the difference now is to entering that person here. So let's say Elon Musk age 60. And then we want to change that to Alan Turing again and instead click on update person, then you can see that will also work exactly the way as it did for the, the batch ride. So for this particular example here, there is no difference between those two methods because we only use update functions in our batch ride. And that update here by using that update person button also consists of a single update operation. So if that single update operation doesn't work, then we also won't update the first and the last name. But once those operations get more complex and you have delete operations and set operations too, then a batch write makes a difference. So I hope this all makes sense to you, even if this example here was very simple. If you still have questions about batch writes, then really don't mind asking them in the comments. I will take my time to answer them. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.